Let me just add a few more things as general questions because some of these have been puzzling to me and may be puzzling to the audience. First of all, we have to ask why there's been no pushback to these dreadful math standards from higher up. One would expect, at least for the people who do understand the problems, engineers, scientists, and mathematicians, and more at the college level, to say something. We've heard from nothing, basically, at the college level, which means that the shoe is still going to drop there when they're told by the presidents who are asked to sign on to the Race to the Top applications that, indeed, they must give credit to students who are deemed college ready on a grade 11 test, which will be coming in the next year or so, that if they're deemed college ready, then they get credit bearing courses in their freshman year. Well, if the college level of readiness is somewhere between grade eight and grade nine, that means that the four credit course in their freshman year is going to be following that. It doesn't mean that they will be ready for STEM career. It only means they will be given college credit for what they should have been doing in high school for high school credit. This is a way to get rid of high school almost altogether. But let me pick up the higher ed piece of it because we had a letter that was distributed in 2013 on William McCallum's website and through others. He was one of the math standards writers and is a professor of mathematics at the University of Arizona in which the heads of almost every major math and science organization in this country endorse Common Core. It turns out that the letters went only to the heads, didn't go to the members of the organization, and the heads were only asked to endorse. It is not clear that any of them ever read the standards, and yet we have this letter that's going around. It's available on the Pioneer Institute website, so one can see it. Professor Milgram got a copy of the letter and saved it, as he saved everything, so he could say, it's only the heads, no one in the organizations who belong to all these organizations. One quick interruption. No, uh, what was going on. Senator, could you just say what Pioneer Institute is? So people Pioneer know. Institute is a free market institute in Boston that has commissioned and done a lot of reports on anything to do with free market policies and programs, including the nature and problems with Common Core. Okay, thank you. But they do many other things. Part of what we have to understand is why more than math people also are unaware of the tentacles from this because science is critically affected by the shortcomings in the high school math standards. In fact, no next generation science standards, NGSS, and I don't know whether Delaware has also decided to adopt them too. They are in line with Common Core. They do not teach a full course in high school chemistry, and physics is unteachable. So that is part of the problem that you need to understand by your state board's adoption. How did it know? It doesn't know anything about high school science, like it doesn't know anything about high school math either. But you cannot teach high, advanced high school science courses in chemistry, mathematics, or certainly any other area that it would want to. So where were the questions? Where are the local school boards raising questions? They will be told they can do whatever they want in their local schools. It's just as we've heard, there's no incentive for them to do so since those new standards they've added will not be assessed by a Common Core test. But why are American high school students being penalized when students from other high achieving countries are being taught these standards and are graduating from their high schools and coming to our country, as Professor Milgram says at Stanford, because American high school students are no longer being qualified for the STEM careers that students in South Korea, China, Japan, and others Singapore. are Singapore are being trained for. We will have Chinese speaking town engineers. Those Thank are the you. only ones who will understand what they're supposed to be doing, even if you can't understand what they're saying. Judy, do you have any comments on this? 